hi guys so in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to put your face into the metrics let's go so first start by creating a new document and then um, you're going to use uh, 180 pixels and then the dimension we are going to use here is 1920 and the height we are going to give it 1080 all right now we're going to leave the resolution at 72 rgb here 8 bit and then change the color here to color black if yours is not color black and then let's call it may matrix right I click on okay okay so let's go to view and then let's go to new guide layout and then make sure this is not ticked click here click here set here to two set here to two click on okay you're going to have something like this I want you to open your notepad now chances are you have a notepad on your computer or your laptop open it and then the file that i'm going to give you or you can use your own image as well it works perfectly just drag the image into notepad and just leave it you're going to have this weird um, looking something it's cool it's cool it's cool i want you to click somewhere here okay somewhere far left here now drag down somewhere here like this hold shift and come and click here it's going to select it from that point up to here Control c to copy it and just you know minimize it now let's go back to photoshop all right so let's click here right click here and pick vertical type 2 nice now i want you to click over here and drag it like that and drag it all the way down here so we now I want you to open the character set here to 20 set here to 20 that's the lead into 20 set the tracking also to 20 tracking to 20 all right and then now double click here and paste it sweet now this is how it looks like we need to change the color to make it look quite um, realistic like the matrix color and so we would have to use a bright green color so let's click on our color and let's change some few things so let's use 2a f f 00 click on okay i like how the color looks it's, it's quite interesting now duplicate it open the character and set here to turn and set here also to turn now come up to the one down here make sure this is 20 if it's not 20 kindly set it to 20 that's the tracking nice now let's call this one and let's name this two let's duplicate two and then let's set here to 20 that's the leading and then let's set the tracking to 25 okay now let's call this three awesome now i want us to give this a mask let's click on the mask and then let's go to filter and then let's go to render and then let's go and look for clouds click on two as well give it a mask go to filter go to render and then go to clouds let's select both and then let's drag it beneath the one sweet so click on the mask pick your brush tool and then also make sure that it's a soft round brush and then your caps log is off reduce the size of the brush a little bit and the opacity let's enter around 30 something percent and just clean certain areas you know click on this one as well we just want to play around with it a little bit and so we have something like this which is cool guys all right so let's select one two three and then control j to duplicate it and then control e to merge it into one and let us name it motion blur 
now i want us to go to filter i want us to go to blur and then let's go and look for motion where's blur let's look for motion blur click on motion blur now for the motion blur i want us to set it to 90 that's the angle and then the distance let's set the distance to 30 and click on ok now right click here and then go and look for flatten image to make it all on one layer for us absolutely also i would like you to go and drag your image in the into photoshop and then resize it to fit resize it like that great enter let's have it somewhere in the middle like that great now with the layer selected i want you to click on ctrl a to select the size of the canvas and i want you to go to image and i want you to click on crop so it's going to crop the image to the size of the canvas click on ctrl d to deselect it i want you to right click it and then click on duplicate layer and then change here to new and then over here let's call it face click on ok now what we plan to do is, is to make it a displacement map so that it will look the image would look like it's coming out of the text when we put it in the matrix so we first need to make it black and white great and then we need to click over here and then we need to go to filter and then go to blur and then go to gaussian blur let's set the value to three and then we click on ok now ctrl s to save it let's save it somewhere at our documents let's call it this place map and click on save ok now we can close this all right so click over here at the matrix duplicate it now i want you to hold ctrl and click over here on the thumbnail here remember this layer is still selected hide this one and convert this into a smart object let's call it one let's name this one zero so we are going to click on layer one right now and then we are going to go to filter and we are going to where are you the start and then we'll go to displace we're going to set the horizontal scale to 20 and then let's set the vertical scale also to 20. click on stretch to fit click on repeat edge pixels click on ok now go to my documents where you see the displacement map this is it open so you could see it transforming over there it is too subtle but that means we, we got to work on it again to make it more visible so what we got to do is make this layer visible and then let's go here let's set it to soft light so we can see it has added a little more touch to it added a little more touch and form to it also let's duplicate it again to add more touch to it come and click on this duplicated matrix give it a mask let's go to filter let's go to render let's go to clouds let's see the difference so we can see it's in there and then pick this and then select both of them put them in a folder go to your adjustments pick um black and white and then mask it only to it go here and set it to soft light and then give it a mask over here make sure your opacity is 50 to 70 percent and then here's black we just masking it so we just click around that area like that just to hide the head a little bit the hair a little bit we don't want all the black areas to show let's reduce the opacity a little bit and then click somewhere on the face like that uh let's see center on 11 percent 
all right so so this is how it looks like you can zoom in to see it accurately you can see it over there everywhere it looks great and very detailed so guys if you love this video please hit the bell icon and subscribe to this channel as well i love you all guys see you in the next tutorial peace